Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can onboard users from Active Directory. So uh, in PAM, you have different options of uh, allowing users to authenticate. And the most commonly used um, uh, option is the Active Directory integration. So under admin tab, you will find Active Directory option and you will find this import now button. Um, by default, the domain name and domain controller values might be empty. In such case, you can just click on this new domain button, supply your domain name and its net bias value. So you don't have to specify the fully qualified domain name. It just needs to be the net bias name in uppercase and you can just click on add and you will find your domain name listed at the top. And then you can supply your primary domain controllers fully qualified domain name. So in my case, this is my um, fully qualified domain name. Uh, the secondary name is optional, but it is a good practice to have a secondary domain controller specified. So at some point, if your primary domain controller is down, users will not have any problems in accessing PAM because it has another uh, domain controller that it can try to authenticate against. And then you have the option to specify any login credential with which PAM can talk to your Active Directory and onboard users. Um, you could use your own account or you could use a service account specially uh, created for PAM. But regardless, when you supply your account name and password, you don't have to supply the domain name in front because it's already supplied at the top. PAM knows to um, um, take the domain name from the first field and add your account name next to it and send it to Active Directory for authentication. If you already have a user account stored inside PAM, then you can choose this radio button where it says user and account stored inside PAM, and you will be able to select the account and password that is already present inside the wall. Regardless, um, the best way to onboard users is to use this fetch groups and OUs button. Unless you are trying to import a single user or a single user group, you don't have to manually supply any values in these fields. And uh, it is also important to note that you have the Active Directory synchronization option where you can specify a synchronization interval. Um, it is recommended to have the synchronization interval set to three hours or above, considering that PAM is going to eventually synchronize many groups and OUs against your Active Directory. So when you click on fetch groups and OUs, PAM will enumerate your Active Directory key structure and show you the list of groups and OUs you have in your Active Directory. So if you already have an existing group uh, that you would like to onboard, you can just select the group name from this list. You can also use uh, the browser's own search option. Like if you are looking for a particular group, you can just do a control F and just type test. It'll take you to the respective group names. Um, you can use the checkbox in front of uh, the particular group that you would like to onboard and you can hit import. So this will make PAM import your users directly from Active Directory and it will list all the users here.